What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with another 2-in-1 AEW and Rival Collection review on the brand new AEW and Rival Collection series number 8, Chris Jericho and John Moxley figures. Now, I know we're back with some repeats, but we do have some differences between the two, and this is probably the most interesting Jericho that we've gotten to this point, maybe outside of one or two. And I'm actually excited for the review, man. I'm excited to get these out of the packaging, add these to the collection. At least we are getting a little bit differences between these two but compared to our other ones, which we're going to... Uh, course get into all the details and break them all down man but as you guys can see our same uniform aew unrivaled gold foil black packaging with the unrivaled collection down there on the side you have their names chris jericho and john moxley front viewing window aew across the top aew logos over here number 63 and 64 on the back we get good images of jericho and mox you got their autographs of course up top rest of the figures in the wave this is mainly like a best friends wave as you guys can see on the other side you got aew and that pretty much wraps it up man should be pretty good stuff as we crack them open we've been waiting on sort of a pain maker s jericho so this is our time to do so man with all that being said let's crack them out of their packaging so here's Jericho and Mox out of their packaging, man. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. We're going to get into all the details, but these are some figures that I still am having some problems with, which we're going to completely dissect. But you guys know that Jazzwares and AEW is getting the most out of their molds. We've seen this multiple times before. This is our third Mox, if you don't count the two-pack with Darby Allin. If you're not counting the exploding death, you know, exploding barbed wire death match with Kenny Omega. If you don't count those, this is our third Mox, and not counting the Chase variants. There are a lot of Chase variants as well. But also, Jericho, he has an ish ton of figures. He has the most figures out of every AEW superstar so far. And we're going to take a look at all, all the comparisons and all the things. But let's dive into Mox's accessories and Mox. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Jericho's accessories and Chris Jericho. So for Mox's accessories, man, we don't get very much, right? We get a leather jacket. This is basically his vest mold, but with arms on it. At least that's what it looks like to me. You guys can see here it is in the rubber, which is very unfortunate. I'm very over the rubber accessories. We have not had a cloth accessory in a very long time. Outside of the Amazon 2-pack with Chris Jericho. It's been a while since we've gotten some cloth. It doesn't have really anything on it. You do have the hood on there, so it's not the exact mold as the vest accessory, but you do get, I mean, it's some nice sculpting stuff, and it's not like super hard, you know, rubber where it can't bend or anything, but it's not going to hold a position. It's not going to hold a pose for you, and it's mainly just for display here, which is unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate. I might hack the sleeves off. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but I think this in cloth would have been insane, but uh, here we are, man. This is unfortunately what we have to deal with. Really need some, some cloth accessories accessories dude we really really need it just so they can compete with the wwe elites man because the wwe elites they're coming out with all the force in the cloth man they they should definitely match that and we need to see some cloth accessories especially where it's where it's needed and all those things but that is it for mox's accessories man so getting into moxley himself guys starting out with the head sculpt this is the same head sculpt we saw in the series five mox i would have really liked to seen a different head sculpt for this guy you know uh, maybe the barbed wire death match two pack head sculpt without the blood would have been pretty cool you know it's like the eye patch head that would have been cool to see here you know without the eye patch that would have been nice but it is a repeat of the series 5 that we got three series ago same mox torso right here you know we've seen this mox torso a bunch the skin tone looks i'd say maybe a tad better than the series 5 if not it's about just the same everything looks pretty much the same here you have your forearm tats or your wrist tats whatever you want to say you also have his pants mold that we've seen a hundred times in the black color i remember him wearing this gear specifically i remember the first time he wore it you got the mox in orange right here and then going down you guys are going to notice on my boot down here the ankle is actually backwards so if you spin that around you guys will see the laces are on the back of the ankle so i'm going to have to do some uh, action figure oh okay look at that i just i just fixed it just sitting here so that's that's crazy i didn't even need to heat it up so that's i mean that's good but it's very weird so it was like that in the packaging but as far as i'm noticing man i mean this is a, it's the same mox right it's the same mox as series five except it's painted a little different it has a leather jacket instead of a instead of a vest accessory but i still feel the same problems that i've had with all the other moxes where his legs are just super duper loose man they're very very loose and we got to get a handle on this like his torso feels fine like his torso is not that loose i, I can get over the arms and stuff like that but this john moxley leg mold that they use is just loose bro it's it's way too loose it's it, like if you use this in a match one match even halfway through the match you're gonna be over it like so the leg is pretty daggum loose that is something that i'm not enjoying whatsoever it makes it very hard to pose around it makes you not want to pose these guys around because of their looseness they got to get a handle on this man they definitely need to get a handle on this i would like to see uh like a faded head sculpt like on the back of the packaging dude he has like a 
fade. He doesn't have all this down here. He has a complete fade. The beard is thicker. And it'd be nice to see some of those things replicated into the figure. Change it up a little bit. And for your mocks figure comparisons, guys, here is the Series 5 mocks, the Series 8 mocks, and the Series 2 mocks. I still think the Series 2 is my favorite. I think the skin tone was the best over here. I did adjust the height, and it looks like, I don't know if they adjusted the height or not. I have a few more Series 2 that are mock, but, I mean, these seem to be pretty close in height. They're not identical in height, but I'm pretty sure that the other mocks used to be, like, way up here. So, I mean, that's a step better as far as the height is concerned. I think they did fix the height issues, but the looseness is just still there. All right, guys, so getting into Jericho's accessories, you get a lot more, but you don't get a lot more depth, right? I mean, this is basically Series 1 stuff going on. This this jacket, very nice. I do like the spikes on it and the sculpt going on and the everything like that, but how sick would it be if it were a cloth jacket, right? I mean, I know they can't really do this in cloth because of all the texturing and the spikes and all the different stuff going on with it, but it would have been so nice to just see something, you know, just something outside the box with this Jericho. I do like the Jericho graphic on there. It's painted on there nice. I like the spikes a lot, and I understand that they couldn't really do this in cloth. Like, that totally makes sense to me, but another leather jacket in rubber again. We've seen it with Darby. We've seen it with Mox. We've seen it with Jericho. We've seen it quite a bit of times with the rubber jackets. We've seen it with Frankie Kazarian. I mean, we've seen it a ton of times. Also, you get this hat accessory, and I think this is the same hat mold that came with the Series 1. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it doesn't fit the figure that well, honestly. Like, it doesn't really hug the head whatsoever. It just kind of sits on there, and it falls off. It's very loose, as you guys can see. Like, look how loose that is. So, it doesn't really stick to the head a lot, and it falls right off. So, that's pretty annoying. And it's not really a soft rubber, man. I mean, it's kind of a hard, plasticky, like, like, listen to that. And then outside of that, we do get this mini scarf accessory. I do believe this is a new mold, but I mean, it's just a regular scarf accessory. So what you would do is just pop the head off and slide it on there, as you guys saw before. And it's just, you know, it just has this little wrinkles, just a little rinky-dink silver scarf to go along with your jacket and hat. So, I mean, you do get a decent amount of accessories. They're not, I mean, they're not moving the needle that much. I do like the jacket sculpt, though. So getting into Jericho, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, you do have the nice painmaker makeup here that I like because this is a little bit different here. You know, it's a different grasp on Jericho. At least you change it up from his other figures. It's still the same head sculpt that we've seen a million times. You know, it's not the yelling head sculpt. It is the grimacing face we saw in Series 1. We have seen that before. I guess we haven't seen it a million times, but we've seen it a couple times now. But he do he does have the face paint on there, which is nice, kind of like clownish esque or mime esque so, sort of face paint there. You got the same hair mold. Going down into the torso, this is the inner circle t-shirt torso we've seen before, or at least we've seen this torso before. It's just painted over with the inner circle on there. You don't continue the graphics, so when you flex it up, it does end. That's kind of annoying. All his tattoos are not present here. It is missing some. I don't know which one specifically, but it is missing some. And also his, his like, dude, his arms are flimsy. Look, look at that. We got, I don't know what they can do, but they got to do something, man, because that's just, like, you don't want your figure to feel cheap and, and weird, you know? You don't want it to feel like it's going to fall apart on you. You don't want it to be like that. You want it to be nice and firm, and you want to feel confident in your figure when you're posing it around. You don't want to be walking on eggshells while you're posing your figure around. After that, from the waist down, it's it's the same as the Amazon exclusive and the Series 6 and the Series 1, you know, just without any graphics on it whatsoever, right? There's no detail, like, in the paint or anything. Same knee pads, same everything. No designs. It's black boots, black knee pads, black crotch, black pants, all of that. Black wrist tape, all those different things. But, I mean, I do like the Chris Jericho because it is a different take. You do get the pain maker makeup and stuff like that, which I do appreciate. But, it is uh, the same as every other Jericho outside of the head sculpt. And, you, I mean, you do get the, the inner circle t-shirt. It's just, they're definitely, getting the, they're definitely getting their reuse out of the molds. I had to cut some lights off for the exposure because these figures over here have very, very pale skin tones and it's still blowing the exposure out jesus christ i mean that's better with my hands on screen here but then it makes it kind of dark i don't know man the camera's being really lame to me lately but anyways guys you do have the series 1a you have a little bit of the bubbly ringside exclusive the series 8 the series 6 the amazon exclusive and here's the series 1 with his accessories on there we did get a cloth little uh cloth little uh scarf deal over here and then we also have the series 1b with the amazon shirt on there so this is all the jerichos right here 
every single Jericho we've gotten to this point outside of the chases. This is every Jericho that we've gotten, not counting chase figures. God, look at the freaking exposure. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Jerichos, not counting any chase variants that we've gotten. 1B, 1A, little bit of the bubbly, Series 8, Series 6, Amazon exclusive, and then 1A again. So, uh, this is just with the accessories on it. So, good God at the exposure, man. Get, get us the hell out of here. We always guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up the 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Series number 8, Chris Jericho and John Moxley review. My overall thoughts are, you know, if you miss out on the first two Moxes, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want this one. I mean, you could just go out and get the exploding barbed wire deathmatch one from ringside. You know, you get the Kenny and the Moxley together. You get all the accessories and the blood and stuff. But if you don't want a bloody Moxley, then, I mean, I guess you could get this one. I don't think the Series 2 and Series 5 are super expensive, though. So I think you're gonna, I mean, they're, if you want, I'd say go after the Series 2, even though the height is kind of a, I don't know, man. This one, this one's a solid one. It's just, it has the same issues as the Series 2 and the Series 5. I do like the skin tone and the head sculpt better on the Series 2. Or you just want to go to Amazon, get the two-pack with Darby Allen and Moxley. You get accessories and AEW Championship and stuff like that. I think it goes for 50 or 40 or something like that. So that may be what you want to do rather than going after this Series 8 Mox. But at the end of the day, if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Also, the Chris Jericho. I do like the Chris Jericho. I like the skin tone. I like the inner circle shirt. I like the jacket. I like that it's the pain maker Jericho, but the flimsy elbows, man, and just the continuation of rubber accessories and the plasticky hat that doesn't really fit the figure. And then, you know, just the kind of plain Jane-ness of the figure from the waist down. It, I mean, I don't know. There uh, is there better Jerichos? I don't know. The Amazon, the Amazon one is better, in my opinion. You get the cloth accessories. You get kind of some stuff going on. I didn't think that one was as flimsy, but I don't know. It's all kind of just subjective and what you like and what you don't like and what you want to spend your money on there. But if you guys would like to grab these from ringside, do so using code MD Toys to save 10%, man. But I don't know what to think. We still continue to see the elbow issues and the looseness in the leg. So uh, we really got to get a handle on this stuff because it makes the figures unusable, really. It really does. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do not cross the line like, uh, I don't know. Also, go check out the last five videos that we've posted on this channel. I'd really appreciate it.